What's up guys, it's Friday, and so you know it is time for What The Fitness. All right, before we get started, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for the algorithm. This week, we have, I think this is that show Diary of a CEO again. So this guy had uh, Tim Spector on a few weeks ago, talking about how calories don't matter, and now we have another person on talking the same nonsense. So. Let's see what they have to say. Do we get fatter with age? Yes. Between 20 and 50 years old, the average person will gain about 15 kilos in weight. I don't want to be that guy. What can I do? Okay, so Dr. Giles Yo, He's the world leading expert on fat and how to burn it. His book is called Why Calories Don't Count. What you eat does matter. Let's talk about how we fix the obesity, no shit. how we burn fat, mm. and how we all get into a healthy, Wait, everyone's brain hates it when they lose weight. We're talking even a few pounds. It goes, this is reducing my chance of survival. The moment you stop the diet, the weight will come back on. Calories are not accurate. What's the truth? The calorie tells you absolutely nothing. Zero. <laughs> so if you actually look at a stick of celery, raw, it's got only six calories. If you cook the celery, that six calories becomes 30 calories. <gasps> Understand the limitations and caveats of calorie counting veganism. What are the general stereotypes that need addressing? Veganism, plant-based in particular, is a diet for the privileged people who can choose to do so. We do not need everyone to be vegan. Sustainable weight loss. What is the way that you would suggest to do that? The simple way. Okay. It is the set of numbers that you can apply to whatever diet you like. So the first is... All right. So not all of that was bad. So his, him saying that the brain hates it when we diet, there is evidence that when we begin a diet or we begin a weight loss protocol, that over time our body begins to fight us by increasing our hunger signals, decreasing our satiety signals, and also slowing our metabolic rate. And a lot of that is driven by the brain, particularly the hypothalamus. But him making a big deal about calories and then why they don't count and using an example of a piece of celery that's six calories raw, but 30 calories cooked. Wow, we've solved the obesity epidemic. It's that 24 calories from celery that is added into it when you cook it. I don't know about you guys, but um, I don't think 24 calories really solves the obesity problem. Particularly now I'm I'm guessing what he's talking about is how there is an inherent allowance for a 20% error in food labels And that's why calories tell you nothing. No, this is confusing accuracy and precision Just because that it's not necessarily accurate doesn't mean you can't track calories and get results doing that I don't know how many examples we need of people who have lost weight by counting calories now is it a perfect tool? No. If you're wanting to know exactly how many calories you're taking in, you're not going to be able to know that from calorie counting. Just like if you're trying to keep a budget, you're not going to know exactly how many expenses you're going to have when the month starts. And you're probably not going to know exactly how much your money that you earn is worth. Even if you're a W-2 employee and get the exact same paycheck every month, guess what changes? Inflation, interest, all those things can fluctuate. So you can't know exactly how much money you're making and you can't know exactly how much money you're spending. Therefore, budgeting is worthless. Except we have millions of people who have improved their lives using a budget. Why? Because even though it might not be perfect, it's good enough to make decisions based upon. Can you know exactly how many calories you're taking in? No, but if you have something you're eating and you think maybe you're eating 2,000 calories a day, but in reality you're eating 2,200 because of these changes and label errors, as long as you're tracking it the same way every time, guess what? It doesn't matter because if you're not losing weight quickly enough, what that means is you just need to reduce your calories. So maybe you reduce them to 1,800, but in reality they're 2,000, but the 2,000 is still enough for you to lose weight. So this whole, like, Oh, you can't know calories. This is a unicorn fallacy. Just because something is not perfect does not make it worthless. Now, his comments about veganism being a diet for the privileged, I mean, I wouldn't say that. There are plenty of cultures around the world 
that ate mostly plant-based as they evolved based on their access to certain foods. So I'm not sure it's like a privilege thing. Now, I will say any kind of diet where you get to choose the foods you eat based on ideas is a freaking privilege. Because yes, there are starving people in other places. Yes, if you're watching this video right now, you are privileged because you either own a smartphone, a computer, you have access to the internet. You are privileged. Absolutely. Who cares about what that says for diets? I'm tired of this stupid argument. You guys know I'm not a big fan of vegan zealots. I have done many videos debunking vegan claims. But I'm also not a big fan of making stupid arguments to support a point I'm trying to make. And so saying veganism is a diet for the privileged, so is carnivore, so is low carb, so is any kind of diet. You're trying to lose weight just inherently in itself. That means you got to be too big by eating too much. Isn't eating too much a freaking privilege? Like I'm so done with this idea that privilege just means you can dismiss any argument. So overall, not the worst video I've ever seen. I don't know why this guy keeps having people on who claims things like calories don't count. I don't know how many studies I need to show where they use calorie counting and people lose weight and usually lose weight in about the amount they predict. Wow! So again, is he pedantically, technically right? Yes. But who cares? Calorie counting is a tool. You don't have to count calories to lose weight, but calories do in fact count, Giles. I'm sorry, you're not violating the laws of energy balance. Now, him and I have actually had like a back and forth on Twitter before. Turns out he actually kind of admitted that calories do in fact count. And what he was saying was, well, you can't count them exactly. Okay, cool. Can people please be just a little bit more responsible with their messaging? I know you got a book to sell and you want to get on these big podcasts so you can sell your book. That's cool. I sell stuff too. I still provide context, nuance, and not just short clips of me spouting extreme statements just to get attention. I yell at the camera to get attention. Thank you very much. All right, guys, if you liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next week.